hi my loves thank you so much for visiting my channel i really hope that you are having a beautiful and an amazing day if you're new to my channel welcome and if you are returning thank you for all of your continued love and support this is a timeless collective reading for all signs please be sure to like comment subscribe and share today is july 31st we actually have a full moon in aquarius on tomorrow so this is a late night reading. I just want to check and see what is sort of happening um, collectively. Keep in mind, this could be a past situation, a current event, or a future prediction. This may be your story or the story of someone else in your energy, knowingly or unknowingly. All right. Signs and gender are mentioned, but everything is fluid. All right. We all have different signs in our natal charts. So please listen more closely to the storyline and apply what resonates. Leave behind what does not resonate for you at this time. I had a community post earlier in the month of August. There will be two full moons, two super moons actually. One will be in Aquarius tomorrow. And then I think on August 30th, we're going to have a full moon in Pisces. Um, we're in... Uh, Venus is in retrograde right now. Mercury will be going retrograde in about two weeks. Some people could already be starting to experience some of what of like a pre-shadow Mercury retrograde. So a lot of past situations are coming up. Leo season is here. There's a lot of manifestation. Also a lot of things being exposed. And then um, towards the end of this month, we're also going to be going into Virgo season. So you know, these next few readings are probably going to be picking up a lot of um, energies that are have been lingering behind the scenes because of this full moon energy. The full moons tend to, of course, heighten our intuition and um, show us things that we need to look into as far as shadow work. But it also um, exposes things that have been hiding behind the moon as far as illusion at the bottom of the deck we have the hermit card so yeah definitely some type of virgo energy here the hermit this is going within a lot of soul searching introspection and investigation here turning inward um the hermit is here the knight of swords this is rushing quickly someone is going quickly like diving head first into like some type of transformation all right the knight of swords here the this this hermit also could be for some of you for some of you there's one person out here this person is diving very deeply into some type of spiritual transformation now for some of you what i'm sensing is that someone is doing a lot of healing introspection and um going through a transformation they're being monitored by someone else who wants to put an end to whatever their transformation is because the tower is here and then you have the chariot the devil and then once again you have this knight of wands energy but this is again someone here is getting trying to get as close as they can the wheel of fortune is in the reverse and then you also have the wheel of fortune here so there is karma being served here indeed there is for sure karma being served and it's like it is double karma okay someone could be trying to somehow penetrate or, or infiltrate like your energetic field or your personal space here it looks like the best thing for you to do at this time is to make sure that you are remaining very um at peace and balanced trying to make yourself be aligned with with perfect harmony as best as you can at this time yeah because something here that someone took a risk to do could be a king of pentacles doesn't have to be it could be any sign here um it looks like you're going to have to call justice on this situation in order for you to manifest. There's something that is slowly but surely coming in that is transformational. Scorpio could be um, heavily aspected in someone's chart or there's just a lot of Scorpio energy here. Yeah, because here's the tower. Here's the queen of cups, the moon, the high priestess. Wow. There's something major taking place here. Major. I, I can't believe that we have double wheel of fortune and one of the, this is like a, a contract that's completely over. And then the wheel of fortune is here in the reverse. So something is being stopped, delayed, paused, um, on hold for you or someone else. I really feel that the truth is, is that because you guys are calling for um, justice to be served on the situation in your life. Now that you are freeing yourself from some type of karmic connection, whatever good karma a person was able to receive and simply 
um, from them being connected to you in some type of way energetically, that's about to stop. All right. So with these types of changes, you do need to be mindful of people trying to get you to react or respond and also retaliation. Yeah, because someone's magic or their um, the, the, the tactics that they're using to manifest you back, even with the use, like I said, of magic, perhaps some type of black magic, it's not working. Yeah, it's not working for sure. The wheel of fortune is still in the reverse. It's not working. All right. And someone is in the background trying to temper something or alchemize it in a way so that it will remain hidden. Someone wants to stay in in the lurking in the shadows with trying to manifest using your energy by doing a bunch of illusion magic or something to you. Page of Cups. see this is a very like young um immature type of energy page of cups page of wands the king of swords <laughs> queen of swords wow and then the star and the king of swords is here again so you have the king of swords are here twice Look at this. You have the justice coming out with judgment. This king of swords. This could be like the archangel Michael energy. And then you have the high priestess here. And the magician. Someone's protection has been um, increased. It has been amplified. It's on a, a another level. Just 100%. I, I really don't know what to say about this page of cups, page of wands. To be completely honest. King of Swords is out here with the Queen of Swords. This King of Swords and Queen of Swords energy to, is giving me a masculine out here who is actually a bit on edge. This uh, There's a masculine out here who feels like they need to protect themselves or like they need to protect a feminine because this Queen of Swords right here is not seeing something clearly. This could be you waking up to the truth about a situation i'm gonna tell you exactly how i'm saying this this king and queen of swords could be two people because of the swords representing communication when i think of communication i also think about mercury energy gemini the lovers this could be a couple here i can't tell just yet if this is a karmic couple that is is going after a star or if this is a divine couple who are both in spiritual warfare who are telepathically trying to communicate with each other to somehow get out of whatever this is to be honest with you it could be either one of those situations because i'm seeing two different situations the high priestess is here and the magician the wheel of fortune there's something here about duality because everything I'm reading, I feel the need to give more than one storyline. This high priestess with this magician and this will of fortune. For some of you, you're a high priestess and because of your protection and your ranking, whatever someone is doing energetically or with the use of magic, it's not working. For some of you, this high priestess, this is a dark high priestess who has been defeated and trying to attack you. Either way, you're protected. You have justice, the judgment card, and this king of swords here. Judgment. Judgment can definitely speak of something from the past or a past life. Justice. It's like the scales have to be balanced. Some type of karmic debt, it has to be repaid. Someone has to put their heart on, on the balance, on, on the scale. And those who have a heavy heart because of the things that they've done in the dark are going to face a heart, harsh judgment. And the justice card here is, it looks like most likely this is you. You're going to have to call judgment on this situation. You may want to try to look at something with a bit of compassion 
that's to be expected but that doesn't change the fact that right now you have to actually act in your role as some as a spiritual judge you you can no longer allow something to continue because of you looking at a past situation with so much compassion because you're considering your history with someone your relationship to this person or whatever somebody here needs to pay for something that they've done and you can no longer protect this person queen of pentacles page of wands I really don't know what this what's going on with this page of wands. It's page of cups too. For some of you, a person is trying to make some type of romantic offer to you, or you have a person that you've refused an offer from who's trying to apologize to you. They're trying to come in with some type of gesture, something that's going to tug on your heartstrings. I feel because they are hoping that you will not actually call for karmic justice to be served in this situation. This page of wands here is being clarified with the queen of wand, of pentacles and the page of wands. So you have someone here who is being very immature. I feel childish even and a person who is trying to rush someone with this rabbit here they want to get to some type of fertility or abundance of yours quickly and you have this very solid type of energy this page of wands is most likely with your energy you now are taking action towards something and you have this immature like energy that's coming around somebody here they can't stop watching and stalking you Okay, because they're falling from grace. Someone has gotten caught up in some type of situation from trying to, like I said, constantly watch you or stalk you. This person is very, um, I'm picking up ego from this person. This person feels invincible. Because for some of you, this is an emperor that you're dealing with. This person they could actually even be older than you, but they act very childish. Page of Wands. This person could be a hothead. They rush to do things. Whatever they've done, though, with trying to take something from you with this Queen of Pentacles here. Whatever they've done to try to take something from you, the situation, the plan, the scheme, the scandal, whatever, it's out of control. It's completely out of control. King of Swords. What's the King of Swords here? Yeah, the moon. Something done in the dark has been seen by your spiritual team, by God, the Hierophant here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you see all this protection around? Who? Yeah, this Divine Feminine. The moon. Divine feminine is being hidden. It's also something about your power, your divinity, your essence, your protection, your spiritual team that nobody else knows. Nobody knows about this. It's like, honestly, you have access to lethal weapons and nobody knows about it. It's not for them to know. But this is God. This is Archangel Michael. And then you have like a masculine here that's also protecting you. It's like for some of you, you could even have like some type of male cult or coven or something like that that keeps on attacking you, especially with these different moon cycles, trying to siphon your energy in some way. But they're no match really for your spiritual team. And this is something that these individuals, they keep doing. And they do have the help of like these feminine energies, Queen of Wands here. They're holding on to your energy for dear life honestly because the hangman is in the reverse and the judgment these people th there's no way out for them they've done something and use your energy or whatever there's no way out they cannot get out of whatever this is so somebody yeah look the hangman but it's in the reverse and it's clarifying this queen of swords here <laughs> with the judgment Somebody is trying to confuse you and create an illusion or some type of trap, like I said, or setup, so that you will not actually sacrifice this person. 
And what I mean by sacrifice is I'm saying you simply calling judgment on this situation. And this is going to require like you, you're going to have to, to stand in your power and be very assertive. You're going to have to really embody this queen of wands energy, even if that's not who you naturally are. You're going to have to take charge. You have to take action. You have to move. You have to stick this nail in the coffin with this situation. This is not something that you can continue to allow to just slip through the cracks because it's it's just not good it's not something here is over the devil card came out and here's the strength card this is indeed some type of spiritual attack somebody could be sending an entity to you to attack you yeah this is someone also for some of you, you need to be especially careful because you could be dealing with someone who's under the influence of some kind of substances alcohol or something else this person is very arrogant like i said they feel like they are invincible like they can't be tracked they can't be seen they can't be caught they can't like they don't feel like there is any consequences for anything that they've done all right somebody here also feels that no matter what has has already transpired no matter what they've done in the shadows in the darkness against you that you have to move forward with them and it's again like i said the retaliation like energy if in fact you decide to break this karmic contract with this person someone here is completely like they're retaliating against you somebody is like well no you this whole idea of you going towards a destiny it's not gonna happen and this person really is very arrogant and bold like this <laughs> wow this is like a, a textbook narcissist but there's a divine feminine here you're completely out of the matrix and the way that you put an end to this situation completely is simply by being grounded stable not returning to what has already broken you it's simple easier said than done i know but it's simple how you react and how you respond to these situations energetically it's what's going to dictate and control the outcome completely. Death. Somebody, this card is saying you cannot run from death. No matter the time, the day, your age, your money, you cannot run from this ending, this transformation, this death, whether that be like a spiritual death or physical. What you have to do is completely free yourself from whatever this situation is. Mind, body, spirit, soul, you have to be completely detached from this situation. Physically too, not just physically. This has to be completely over. And that's when the justice will come in. Because it's something about your connection to a particular person or group or some type of situation here that could actually be under an investigation. That um, I just looked up at the TV in front of me and the SWAT team is here. And I literally see the guys walking around with these huge guns. It's like when these people are, when they aim fire, you don't need to be around. You don't even need to be energetically connected to these people. This group or this person, this job, this business, whatever it is. You don't need to be connected to them in any way. So some of you right now, you're being really, you're, you're definitely being urged. You need to clean something up. Because I do feel... This is like SWAT team energy for, for what I see here. Somebody is investigating and they're waiting on the perfect time to rush in. Okay. But somebody is also, somebody is planning to rush in towards you or your person because we have the sun here and the death card with the queen of cups, the world. The fool card. Some of you, you could have, you could be in a new connection with the actual divine masculine. You have a karmic masculine out here that is watching everything that you're doing, including this person that maybe you've connected with 
they're trying to figure out the best way to end this situation to end you or this person or whatever the two of you could be coming together trying to build and this is why spirit is saying at this point like i don't know this reading kind of makes me a little bit uncomfortable because i'm hearing a lot of different stuff i just i don't even want to say it all but I literally just heard you don't want somebody else's blood on your hands. Take that how it resonates. Because in situations like this, innocent people can be hurt or harmed. For sure. Some of you, you need to stop assuming that a situation is actually okay or it's more safe than what it actually is. Some of you need to stop giving people the benefit of doubt. I don't care if it's friends, family, people of the opposite sex, the same sex, if it's new people or old people, it doesn't matter. There's something here about your personality, your mindset of thinking that, you know, just because a person is, is out of sight, out of mind, that they're no threat or they could be of no harm to you or whatever it is. And it's not, this reading is not to scare you, but you have someone that has some type of obsession. And they want to get closer to you and not for the right reasons. The tower. They want to cause a tower. Queen of Wands and the Sun, Leo, double Leo. I have two cards of Scorpio here, two cards of Leo here. Something about double. You need to double up on something or before we had the Wheel of Fortune double. You need to double up on something or somebody is trying to double up with something with you. But you have the Knight of Pentacles here and the devil being caught with the magician some of you you really you need to increase some some form of protection that you have because it feels like whatever these individuals could possibly be trying to do at this time whether they're doing it on a physically or spiritually, energetically or whatever, they're doubling up with whatever they're doing to try to get your attention, to slow you down, to block you, to have you in fear. So as they double up, you need to double up. The hangman. They discover how strong you are is the problem. Yeah. Look. Look at look at this. King of Wands, King of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, King of Wands, Page of Cups. These people have discovered how powerful you are. And whatever this Page of Cups, whatever this love bombing or gesture, love spell or whatever that they tried to do, they're getting confirmation that it didn't work. Or if they made some type of offer at the cross, whatever they did, what they're seeing clearly now, because something has happened to someone in the group, is that you're not the person for them to play with. You're entirely too strong. This is a group of men doing this to a divine feminine. But I can guarantee you at least one person here has already experienced some type of karma as a result of some type of spell work or ritual or whatever it has backfired remember before i kept i'm like i don't really know what's going on with this page of wands and this page of cups you guys have had at least two different masculines for sure who have been coming at you one trying to tamper with you energetically and emotionally and another one has been possibly taking action towards you there could be sex magic there's a lot of different stuff that's happening here where end of these people are doing different things to try to, like I said, siphon or, or harvest your energy. 
but somebody here has already discovered how strong and powerful you are because i'm telling you they're experiencing some type of blowback here someone in the group is realizing that wow you truly are powerful but see once they figured how powerful you are they kept trying to get a closer look and this king of pentacles it's like this person they took a risk this person should have kept this pentacle to themselves but they still made i feel like this person again with this offering somebody should have not made an offer somebody made an offer to once again they made an offer to some type of deity or whatever once again to try to sabotage a contract in your life to put an end to you only to find out that you were too strong for the devil and now like a domino effect everything towers are about to start falling this king of wands is getting hit this king of pentacles is afraid because of what's coming next okay this king of wands is someone who perhaps is on the outside looking into this situation that is trying to come towards you to assist you in this situation there is a good guy out here this king of wands for some of you or someone they're actually protecting you page of cups but somebody knows for sure that some type of offering that they made it didn't work what it did is it got this person kicked out of your energetic field and see you still have whatever this pentacle is whatever this gift this talent this ability whatever this money is it's yours it seems like it, it, it was a close call looking at this page of pentacles but somebody was willing to do anything to hold on to this 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 has everything to do for some of you it's a relationship or a partnership somebody wanted you to stay in a business so that they could use your energy or your ideas your money or whatever the case is or somebody wanted you to stay connected to them so that they could sleep with you to take your energy and they were taking it back somewhere else but it's not working and again the main goal has been to stop you from being in another relationship oh wow there's something behind the page of yeah somebody was trying to hold on to your energy for dear life because you have an offer here that is being divinely guided and has been ordained by god and it's also being protected and supported by the angels and your entire spiritual team you and another person are coming together and this union is being protected by both of your spiritual teams this person here who you've had to tell goodbye and you put these boundaries up with because they've been in and out of your life and doing all of this hoodoo voodoo black magic or practicing different things in the occult to try and sabotage your life this person now wants to take back what they've done because they rushed in to spiritually attack you and i feel like this person they're feeling it now if it's not them someone close to, oh yeah look they feel it now they wish that they never would have made this offer because they've been caught And they tried to slow down an offer from coming towards you. But see, there is an offer that's coming towards you because you manifested this. And it's an offer with this King of Cups here, who is in the upright, who recognizes the divinity. Somebody who, they love you because of your anointing. And they're not trying to steal it. You have a person out here that has been stealing from you because of the anointing in you and the anointing over your life you have another person they love you simply because of your anointing and and they want to add to it. you have someone that's hoping that somehow they can add jewels to your crown they're not trying to take it away from you this jealous envious like dark wicked warlock i'm so tired of this person I'm so tired of this person. I, I, I respectfully, those of you who won't leave this person alone, please leave this person alone so that they can stop coming out in every single reading. Please, please, I beg you. <sighs> Page of Swords. This person is watching and stalking and monitoring 
this offer that you have coming in. And it's very obvious that you have like a counterfeit person here and a real person because the signs of the person attacking you are in the reverse. The same signs are coming out. For some of you, somebody from the past, they're coming back to you and, and maybe they mean well. Maybe they're coming to you in a brand new energy. That's for some of you. But for a lot of you, you have a new person that's coming in. They're going to be very, very similar perhaps to this counterfeit person. That's usually how it is. Um... And you have to be discerning. They could be the same size, um, sign. I almost said size. They could they could have um, their physical appearance could seem similar. They could. I'm hearing like the Usher song. You remind me. You really could be saying like you. Wow, you remind me of someone I used to know. Something about whoever is in your life or coming into your life is very similar to someone from your past. But can you recognize the difference in the energies? Taking a leap of faith, closing this cycle out is going to allow you to be free, at peace, and liberated. Something, if somebody is doing something under this moon, it's going to be stopped. I feel like it's going to be stopped before it even gets started. Yeah, it's not, it's not going to happen. Because you already see the truth. You see something or you see someone very like clearly here in this situation. You could be a queen of cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Or there's a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio possibly that you're seeing the truth about this person is going to help set you free. See, there's something about this reading is there's definitely a group of men out here, but these men have the help of a karmic feminine as well. These men are not doing this alone. I don't know if these men are using this woman to sleep with them because they're doing sex magic. Um, this this woman that they're going to could be like a psychic. They could be a seer. They could be a, a tarot card reader. But they're definitely utilizing. They're using the spirit. It's something here. And it came up in the other. It's something about spiritual sight. The, this group of men that keep attacking this divine feminine. They're using a particular feminine to be able to see into their life. So that it's like they are um in cahoots with or in a partnership with like a reader or a high priestess this is how they're getting all of their information there could even be a private investigator out here that's a female and this could this may not be easily detected because of stereo stereotypes a lot of pis a lot of private investigators you will probably be looking for a man. You could have a person out here though that is a spy, a private investigator, a detective, but they could be a, a woman. So I'm getting two different things. Either these people are using the energy of this divine feminine to be able to see because this divine feminine is a psychic. So they're siphoning and harvesting the divine feminist energy so that they can hopefully try to see into the future or they're partnered with someone who is helping them to see into the future of this divine feminist so that they know how to attack them but it's something that they're getting from this divine feminine and it has to have something to do with the divine feminine's energy that's allowing them to see behind the veil they want this divine feminine psychic gifts for themselves Somebody out here is playing like the lottery or they gamble. It's like they, somebody here just wants to be able to know the future. With everything that they do in the occult and, and all of the different gifts that they've done magic to try to have, they're still not psychic. They still don't naturally have the gift of sight as a seer. So that's the reason why they... They want the energy of this star, this healer, this divine feminine, this light worker. Because without the divine feminine spiritual eyes, they fall right off of the cliff that they stand on. 
They can't, these people can't take risk. Ah, okay. There we have it. They need the, the psychic and spiritual gifts in order for them to win when they're taking these risks. Somebody here definitely is into gambling. They're taking risk and it has a lot to do with money, with gambling, with money, investments, but they are predicting things with the use of a divine feminine's energy. A divine feminine who has some kind of spiritual or psychic gifts. This is a natural born healer or light worker. You have the divine child here. This is someone, this is a very pure being. Someone that's very innocent. They're pure. They have a very special connection with the divine. And you have here the beggar. <laughs> so the beggar is someone who obviously is codependent. Someone here is codependent on the divine gifts of a divine feminine. And this person is either, this. there could be a detective here that's involved. They're sneaky. They're dirty, like a dirty detective. But whoever is doing this also, like I said, you have voyeurism here. This person is falsifying information. There, somebody here is watching you. And they're falsifying information or they're copying your work and they're lying about it. This is someone who has some kind of God complex. And this could have once been a lover of yours. But this person, the only thing that they want to do is bully you because they actually want to be very popular. The athlete here. This person is selfish and entitled. And they're stalking you. And they have... A God complex. This person, like their love, it, it's like they're dangerously in love. This bully card here. Something about this person's communication. And the Messiah, it literally says, exaggerated belief that you are the only means through which a cause can succeed. Somebody here is trying to convince you that you will never reach your full potential without them. But the truth is, is that they can't reach their potential without you. You are the queen. Okay. This person is a shapeshifter, but they can't shapeshift without this pure, like, almost like virgin blood it's something about it's like for a lot of you you could be a shapeshifter of some sort and that doesn't mean anything bad but you have some kind of gift or ability or these people okay i'm i'm, I'm trying to it's a lot of stuff When these people are making these sacrifices to be able to shapeshift into these different demonic entities, they need a child or a virgin is what this is. Okay. They need a child or they need a virgin. Some of you could be celibate, uh, abstinent. You could simply just be very gifted very talented you have a very pure essence and perhaps like pure blood some these are people who find you to be the perfect sacrifice for whoever or whatever they are making these offerings to that gives them an ability to shapeshift into whoever or whatever where they are glorified as some type of messiah but these are bullies and they're beggars they're codependent on your energy this is not a natural talent or ability that they have and you have your companion this is a lover a family member a friend that is betraying you. 
someone here also someone here sold their soul with this companion card someone who you were once close to who was a lover a friend a companion this person has lost their identity they now identify as some type of entity Whoever this is, they are invoking an entity to allow them to be who they want to be, to allow them to have this power. You have the judge card here, the fool. The fool card. Someone is wearing a mask. Someone is, is covering up the fact that. Somebody is just covering up a lot of stuff. Especially like legal things. Evidence. Falsified documents. Information. There's a, de a detective out here. Someone is wearing a mask. They're not who you think they are. And these people are hoping that you are going to be the next victim of this trickster. Because these individuals know that you may live your life. Wow. Wow. This is some type of really crazy setup that somebody is planning. You have the magical child, the monk, the nun card, the goddess, and the damsel. And somebody with eternal child. Somebody wants to be young in body. Somebody wants to live forever. I keep saying that. I think that was not the last reading, but the reading for it's like every time every time I, I turn on the I'm hearing that forever young card. Somebody wants to be forever young. So someone is selling their soul in hopes of being, I guess, like immortal. They feel like they can be forever young. And to be forever young, this entity is requiring women who are pure or who are virgins or children. This is nothing but, this is just a ritual happening, you guys, with some Satanists. That's all this is. And they want you to self-sabotage. The sacrifice has to be a woman or a child or both. And these people are, are begging for your energy. So they bully you. They love bomb you. They bully you. They come in and act like they're friends, family, lovers, companions. Or they send in different companions and lovers. Okay. They hope that, you know, you being in this goddess-like energy, being highly spiritual, um, Living this monk, nun, goddess-like lifestyle. You're, these people think you're all love and light. You know, that you're some type of damsel in distress. You're waiting for some type of knight to come in and, and help you or to save you. And you can easily be seduced by illusions of fake and false love or romanticism. And yeah, like, boom, they can just capture you somehow and, and offer you up to this to the devil that's really what this is it's, it's yeah <sighs> an advocate and you could be an advocate for people see people who are speaking out about these different rituals and and secret societies or whatever who are advocating for 
the safety of these women and children, they're they're the, the prime target. Because you have here, look, the child nature card. And it's the, the shadow at, attribute of this. It says the tendency to abuse animals, people, and the environment. These are people who were born. And, and, and they chose a life to be like a Satanist or even th these, these individuals. Else, the, the word I'm hearing is they're sadistic. Like they really enjoy pain. And then you have her hermit and God healer, <laughs> teacher, slave, king, Don Juan, engineer, prostitute. This is somebody out here who wants to capture someone who is a bit withdrawn from society who is a firm believer in 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 God the most high Jesus who's a healer has a passion to serve other people and be an advocate someone is trying to with the engineer card they are looking for a way a methodical approach a solution to pretty much with the prostitute card here figure out how they can capture you for this king don juan here for someone for you to be like their slave somebody somebody wants to enslave you they that they, they're, they're looking for like i said for pro prostitutes they they want a prostitute that they, they see you as someone who can make them money. And you guys can read between the lines. And you know exactly what this is. They're looking for women and children. These people want women and children to be a slave. To these Don Juans. These men who have this um, excessive feeling of entitlement. They, they have the need to dominate and control and feel worshiped and entitled and to accomplish this they're doing black magic and they're worshiping the devil to invoke entities and take on the energy of these entities for them to go out and shape shift and do this work but they're using the energy and the blood of women and children to do it without the women and the children they they cannot do any of this because they're not pure-blooded people like they have no connection to source these are soulless beings so they have a contract for them to get anything done they have to rely on rituals and magic it's vampires The human, you're just disposable. They just need you for blood and, and that's it. They they toss you to the wayside. These people, they, they don't care it out. They're incapable of feeling or love. These are narcissists, energy vampires. They simply want your divine energy. So that they can run around on a high, get money, have a good time, do whatever they want to do. And then they're on to the next victim. It's really sick. When I tell you the last few days, like every time I do readings, I'm sick. Mature man and child. These people are looking for young women, children, 18 years of age. Amber alerts. You notice there's a lot of amber alerts during the full moons. Message of concern. People are receiving messages of concern about their daughters between the ages of 14 to 18. Because this is a business for these these groups of these men. The child card still came out. Coffin. Official person. It's official people out here. 
they're trying to figure out where these missing and deceased children are. House. Oh my God. High honor. This is truly becoming unbearable for me. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-five, eighteen year old, nineteen year old, twenty-year-old, twenty-two year old, twenty-five year old. And there could be a man out here that's around the age of thirty-six. Or they started doing this when they were about 36. This is a wealthy man. But this wealthy man most likely grew up in poverty. And they fear poverty now. So they got into this line of business with some type of false person that they're in a relationship with. This is how they make money. And without the spiritual gifts of these divine beings these light workers this person is in despair without this sacrifice they're in despair and whoever this privileged false person is that they're with they're concerned that this person is going to go to jail because this person this mature man who has all these different business operations, they're actually in bad health and they're aging rapidly. So this person is making sacrifices for health and for wealth and for their secrets in these crime rings or whatever to stay hidden. <sighs> Pathway. Message and pathway is here. Toil and labor. This may be part of your pathway to work hard in advocating for people who are going through this. Yeah. There's mature women who are working. This is a collective of light workers who are working very hard to try to get this message out. Or there's a lot of light workers who are going to be called into missions. There could be a community of people who will start to offer income to different light workers or psychics to help them to crack these cases. I don't know where that came from, but that's what I just got. I feel like different investigators are starting to take different approaches in solving these cases. And these different uh, teams of official people, they do have psychic investigators. And this is the reason why people who speak out on situations are being so heavily targeted. Because black magic has been the silent killer. It's been a crime that has gone undetected for a long time. But now because so much is happening with the black magic, of course, you have different departments. that are coming up to investigate these situations. The supernatural world is, 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 is popping right now. Nothing is actually hidden anymore. As above, so below. The, the, the veil is, is thin, or we should just say, honestly, it's non-existent. If it's happening in the spirit realm, you're seeing it happen right here. It's just a matter of, are your eyes open to see it? Everybody is kind of walking around, living every day, not realizing that we're actually in war right now. 
Just look around. And just like any situation, when you choose to be an advocate, when you choose to be someone that operates in a high vibration and you don't want to sell your soul, you're attacked. They want to burn you at the stake. It's just history trying to repeat itself again. That's all. But this is really sad. What these people are doing to these women and children for money and for power. Money, fame, power. These people want to be worshipped. Their sense of entitlement. Because they sold their soul. So now that they sold their soul, they, they don't feel worthy. Like I said, they can't feel. Their human experience now... I, I don't even know how to describe it. Like, they're trapped. These people have to do awful things to just survive daily. They have to work so hard for everything that they have. None of the things that they have are easily maintained. To be honest, these people are tired of this lifestyle, but they're, they're locked in. They, they can't get out of it. And here you are, you're a visionary. Something, like I said, your sight. You probably have predicted this and told somebody, oh yeah. Visionary and guide. You're like a spirit guide. Liberator. You're a spiritual guide. You're providing spiritual insight, truth, clarity. Trying to help free people. Poet. This is speak this is being a speaker. You guys need to be very careful too. Uh, this, these nights coming in people who are working for the enemy that are coming in and they are playing both sides they're altering a lot of facts there's a lot of uh, plagiarism voyeurism and all of that these people here are, are gambling they don't want to work for anything. They just are hoping that they can turn angels into this Jezebel energy by just feeding off of you. This feeding off vampire. And these individuals, when they can't get what they want, they become very aggressive. The Avenger. They will resort to violence. They will hurt you or harm you if you do not give them what they want. If you don't allow them to deplete you for their own psychic survival because of their codependency as these narcissistic energy vampires. For them, it's like your life is meaningless if you're not keeping them alive. And therefore, they now are choosing to take matters into their own hands. These people are saying, if you won't do what we want you to do, you have no purpose. There is no point in you being here. And they're taking matters into their own hands. 
I'm gonna leave it here. You guys, please protect yourselves. Always go within so that you never go without. I love you guys. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Make sure that your friends and family are protecting themselves and being very much cautious and aware of their surroundings in these dark and trying times that we're in. I'm sending you all peace, love, and light. Be safe, and I will talk to you on the next one. Bye.